state. I do this like hello everyone welcome back to my channel what up uh? um today's video is gonna be like a fast-paced chit chat get ready with me no it's gonna be like a quick get ready with me because I'm going to brunch um, and I just wanted to beat my face I did my makeup two nights ago and I did like a little photo shoot in my kitchen you guys probably saw that if you follow me on Instagram and those photos like did really well on the gram and you guys kept asking me for the makeup look so I'm gonna do that for today's brunch look I'm gonna do that look so it's gonna be real cute but I have to like do it you know like that because there's no time so if you guys want to see me get ready go from basic to patty then make sure you guys just keep watching okay so i'm gonna start off i'm gonna just clip my hair up my hair is gonna look crazy for most of the video and then in the end it's gonna look good but i'm hoping that for like i'm able to like figure out a really cute setup once i get some more decor pieces this is um an spf primer from kula it has spf 30 in it um but it's a primer, it's a makeup primer, which is really good because it's like a two-in-one. So you're priming your skin for makeup, prepping your skin for makeup, but then you're also protecting your skin from the sun, which is very important. And I did just post like a full like in-depth foundation routine video. So I'm not gonna go like super into detail with my foundation routine because I literally just did like a whole video on it. So if you guys want the in-depth routine then make sure you just check that out i have it in the corner in that little like eye <laughs> you tap on it um and it'll also be linked down below yes yeah, so i'm going to brunch french toast with like fruit on it and and i just want like cute little like brunch drinks with my friends and i want to get cute i've been out during covid but like safely if that makes sense and it's not excessive so i don't know i was really like i needed you know when you just need social interaction like you need to see other people i needed like that today i don't know i woke up and i was like yeah i need to be around other people i'm just like like i was saying i'm just happy <laughs> to be around other people like when i get the opportunity to i'm realizing i'm actually a very social person socializing with others meeting new people having conversations hearing how people think even if i don't agree with it like i don't know i just like being in a social setting i like being amongst other people so obviously living alone makes it a little hard to do that because i'm not with like anybody else most of the time but it's something that i'm getting used to i also really do enjoy my alone time and like my me time my jasmine time i like uh self-care days i like pampering myself taking care of myself thinking about myself only having to worry about myself that's really nice like i really love that so hopefully my hair dries and i can pick it out and make my afro look cute because I had to put more product in it because this is like day three of my wash and go. I know it looks really like limp and flat and then I have it clipped up, but this is day three of my wash and go. So far, day two is the best day. Day one is just not enough like volume and frizz and like body for me, but day two of my wash and go, uh, the curls are literally like perfect. The way that they like fall and just, coil and they're just bunched together like it's literally so perfect um that was another thing that you guys asked for a lot on my instagram yesterday was um a curly hair routine i put a poll up on my instagram stories and it's like a hundred percent people were like yes we want it so i'm gonna film that for you guys next i just have to um 
I want to buy a blow dryer with like a diffuser attachment so that I don't have to wait for my hair to air dry. Okay, so I did, I like blended everything out and now I'm just doing my eyebrows. But I've been getting a lot of DMs also asking um, how I'm liking LA. So I thought I'd just talk about that while I carve this brow out. But I'm really liking it, you guys. Like I miss New York, I'm not gonna lie. I was literally on the phone, like on FaceTime with my best friend last night and I was like, you know, I miss New York. Cause like there's nothing like summers in New York, honestly, nothing like it. I feel like that's the best time of year in New York. Um, and that's cause I don't like the cold. So I don't really care for all that um, winter stuff and whatever. But summers in New York are always so much fun. Cause like everybody just be outside, but I'm like, okay with missing it because like of covid like nothing's really going on it's not like i'm missing like events or anything but as far as la like i'm actually really loving it like the weather is beautiful every single day like the people seem to be really nice i feel like i've had really good food while i've been here um so i just like it like i like it a lot i'm I'm, I could say that I'm loving it, you know? Now that I have furniture in my apartment, I'm really loving it because for like a while, I was like, it don't even feel like I live here, like in this empty ass apartment. But once I got furniture, I was like, okay, now, now this feels real. Like this feels like real life. I also, a couple people are asking me about like how I prepared for the move. Um, Honestly, I've wanted to move here. People were asking, I, someone asked me if I moved here because of TikTok. No, I definitely didn't move here because of TikTok. Um, I've wanted to move to Cali since I was like 10 years old. Like, and I had never been at that point. The first time I went was, I came here was back in 2018. Just two years ago was the first time I came to Cali and I fell in love with it, but I had always wanted to move here. Like before then, I wanted to go to college here. That didn't happen. I had always spoke um, so much about moving here with people and I didn't realize that it was something that I spoke about so much until um, I moved here and people were messaging me and they were like, oh my God, you finally did it. Like, I remember when you were telling me back back during this time that she wanted to move there. And it was like someone that maybe I had a conversation with like three years ago, four years ago, like five years ago. Like I wanted to move here for a really long time. So um, it was gonna happen. It was just a matter of when. For my eyes, I used this really cute eyeshadow palette from the lip bar. They sent me like a little PR package. And I thought this was like such a cute little like, eyeshadow palette to have just in your bag and I didn't realize it came with a little brush but I'm not gonna use that oh and a mirror that's so cute okay so yeah this is what I used on my eyes in those photos and then I just tapped like a really sparkly shadow on top of everything but brown sugar which is the this light brown color yeah so I had wanted to move to Cali for years and it was something that I was waiting on um other people to do people that like someone you know my past relationship like i wanted that to come with me to cali like i was just waiting on other people um i had always waited on other people and i always wanted other people around because i was scared to make that kind of move like across country by myself but um when my relationship ended last year i was like okay like what's gonna be your next step like i i obviously went back home to like live with family so i could like just regather myself because i was in that relationship for so long and i didn't i wasn't sure like what my next move would be but i remember i started looking at places in cali back then and that was like in september october time like i was looking at um 
apartments in Cali and I was trying to gauge like how much money I should have saved up and like what would I bring with me and I was looking at like how much it would cost to like ship my stuff or to have like movers like drive my stuff across the country like I was looking at all of that stuff I was watching videos like people's vlogs and I remember telling my mom like okay I'm gonna move to Cali by my birthday which is in February so she was just like okay and then like you know life just like goes the way that it wants to go and I didn't end up moving in February but I have been looking like when I tell you like apartment hunting is something that I would do like in my free time or just like for fun <laughs> I would just like be like on the couch like looking on Trulia at apartments um because I don't know like I just like to see what was like on the market like I'm constantly checking to see what's available because there may be like something that you like but you know price range is not there or, like it's not at the right price point so you go back and check or there's new stuff you know available all the time because people move out of apartments all the time then i'm gonna go in weed oh there's eyeshadow all over my shirt oh my god what is that oh my god oh my god what is that does anybody know where that's from? Then I'm gonna take cinnamon, which is this really dark brown. And I'm just gonna tap it on. These are like hella pigmented. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm just doing, so I wanted something really soft and like not too much smoky, you know, nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna take that same blending brush, the small one, and the first shade that we put in my crease, the light brown, and I'm just gonna run it along my lower lash line while I'm here. Like so, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, and then just for the center, I'm gonna take Toast, which is the shimmery, like gold shadow in here, which is so pretty, in my finger, and I'm just gonna press it all across my lid. I'm gonna kinda like, overlap where the dark color in the corner is too with the shimmer. I kind of just like, I'm sloppily placing it. Makeup doesn't have to be super precise all the time, you know? Like we don't gotta cut creases all the time. Sometimes we can just throw on some shadows and press a pigment on our lid and go. This is why you don't do eyeliner when you're already running late. Girl. I'm gluing my lashes on. These are from Destiny Shop. In the style, so Hollywood. These are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I love these lashes so much. And I love it with winged liner. Oh my gosh. So cute. But I will say, I wanted to say, if you do plan on moving out here and you're trying to figure out like what to bring with you, don't bring anything but clothes and shoes and like your immediate makeup. But like literally anything small that's like easily replaceable, that's cheap to replace, like don't worry about bringing it because it's gonna cost more for you to have to ship it than for you to just rebuy it once you get here. That's something that I had to figure out the hard way because a lot of the stuff that I brought, like I had like some dishware, but most of it broke. So I had to rebuy that anyway. But like I had some pots and pans and stuff for my last place. And I had so much clothes that I gave away before I left that I donated to charity. Like I literally, didn't even have that much stuff and it still cost me a thousand dollars to ship all my stuff my 10 boxes with ups so i would just say like literally just bring whatever you can fit in suitcases on the plane so like two or three suitcases i had two suitcases and two suitcases and a carry-on and a personal bag but yeah just don't just just don't bring a bunch of stuff with you it don't even make sense Everything is so replaceable, like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I made sure to set my under eye and like under my contour with a lighter setting powder and then I used like a darker setting powder, like a more flesh tone, like skin tone setting powder for the rest of my face because I'm gonna be wearing my mask and I don't want my makeup 
to transfer so I set my face okay like this she's not going nowhere and then I'm about to spray it with some setting spray yes my skin looks so good <gasps> I love it. Okay, and then I wanted a little bit more shimmer on my eye, right? I just really, I really wanted to pop, so I'm gonna go into my Jackie Ina and ABH palette, and I'm gonna pick up Zam, and then I'm just gonna place it right in here. But yeah, if you guys want me to do like a, uh, if you want me to do a Q&A video on like my move to LA, any questions that you have, let me know down below if I should do that. I'm only gonna do it if like enough people ask for it though. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, excuse me. And then I also put some in here too. Like I was literally just trying to look like golden, sun-kissed, shimmery perfection in a bottle on my birthday, naked goodness. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Y'all see how I just be chatting and like, don't care, like. And then for my lippy, let's see, what did I do? I did these two, where's my lip liner? For my lips. I did cork lip liner, of course, but I used a new lippy, so let me just line my lips really quickly before you guys like get annoyed. For my lip, I did the Lip Bar um, Liquid Lipstick in Man Eater. This is such a pretty color, okay? Y'all, this is real cute. And this is a black-owned makeup brand. You can find it in Target. So I did this. And then I've used the Lip Bar's Clear Lip Gloss. This is literally like just a clear lip gloss. And I put it on top, but because I am a, a neat freak, I didn't wanna dip the wand in it after I'm putting it on my lips. So I just put as much as I need on the back of my hands. And then I'm gonna do it from there. And I just put it here. My hair was drying up. <laughs> My little afro. Picking it out. I put some body lava on my clavicles and my shoulders. Ooh, she's cute. Hair looks great though. I did that with this haircut. Okay, so this is my little outfit for brunch. You know, something light, something cute. I just have sandals on <laughs> and this little dress. And then I have my coach bag. Like I like, I like the dress. Yeah, so that's my outfit. So that concludes today's chit chat get ready with me today's get ready with me video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed and you got this far then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam because there will be new videos twice a week i've been consistent okay she's been a consistent queen um so make sure you turn on your post notifications that way you're notified every time i do upload i love you guys so much don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I'll have my Instagram here on the screen. Ooh, girl, you fire. Yes. And I'm going to have it down below, linked in the description box. But I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.